In what has been a glittering career, Irene van Dijk brought up yet another milestone last month, 20 years in the international game. It's all over. Irene van Dijk, who almost single-handedly has taken South Africa right into the forefront of calculations for the World Championship title with a brilliant individual performance. A farm girl from near Johannesburg, Irene played the first of her 72 tests for South Africa in 1994. Her performances at the 1995 World Champs brought her universal acclaim and she quickly became South African captain. In 2000, her and her family moved to New Zealand and that year she was playing her first test for her adopted country against Australia. Between then and now, Van Dyke has been a constant in the Silver Ferns, earning the honour of being the most capped international player of all time. Despite all this, she shows no signs of slowing down. So what's the key to her remarkable longevity? I think the fact that I have developed quite late in my life and um, that I haven't started training this hard when I was 18, I definitely think it had something to do with my longevity and the fact that I haven't got any injuries. You know, um, I'm definitely one of the lucky ones in that sense. The Silver Ferns midcourt has been the topic of much discussion recently, but Van Dyke relishes the opportunity to build new combinations. Everyone brings something different to the game, something um, special, so it, it, is, it is nice. It takes a wee while to understand the speed and the passes and things like that, but um, as a player you always want to grow and learn to play with other players. Despite being only two tests into her tenure, assistant coach Vicky Wilson's influence is already beginning to show. With the Ferns seeming more aggressive in the shooter's circle, Van Dijk has had to adapt her game, but is up to the challenge. Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. You know, Vicky has brought in um, a whole different level of shooting training. Um, we have our shooting cards and we leave for training half an hour before the rest of the team. That precision and that um, attention to detail is really important. Earlier this year, Irene made the tough decision to leave her beloved Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic and join the Central Pulse. It was a decision made with her family in mind. Part of that was definitely looking for what happens after Nepal. I obviously would love to get into the workforce and making sure that I plan for things after the game because I clearly won't be there for a million more years. The next two years are big in netball terms. Next year's Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, followed by the 2015 World Champs. So as she moves into her third decade of international netball, does the lure of adding more gold to her medal tally motivate Van Dyke? And is it the plan to retire after these key events? I wouldn't now say that that would be the end of my career. I, you don't know, you know, injuries can happen at any time. So um, if I am lucky enough to be selected to go to Com Games and World Champs, it would be, it would be priceless.